That's a long time, and after countless mic checks, hundreds of interviews, if not thousands, and learning what each business and event is all about, memories just flood back to us. Mm -hmm. And we're kind of reminiscing a little bit this morning, so we brought in our former North Dakota Today Thank host. You. Hope, so. <laughs> Thanks, Hope, for coming in here. Thanks we love seeing your bright and smiling Aww. face. Always a pleasure. And uh, I would just want to start with you here, because you left us now, I think, in June or yeah, so. Yeah, two and a half months So ago? a couple of months. Yeah. And it was just memories from this show. So many memories. Yeah. It's fun to be back yeah. here <laughs> and to see the lights and everything. I just wasn't really prepared to be sitting back here with you guys. But thank you for inviting me back because mm -hmm. I've also been thinking back on my years on the show. Um, of course, compared to Monica, to you, yeah. it's just a drop in the bucket. Oh, no, but, but everybody leaves a footprint. You yeah. know, it really does. And you get so much out of even just a little bit of time here, right? Mm -hmm. You think about all of the segments you have every day, yeah. so many days in the week and so many weeks in the month, and, mm -hmm. and it's so much that you get to have so much contact with the community that way. And learn so, about so much. then, out of your couple years here yeah. that you anchored North Dakota Tape, first memory that comes to mind, best memory, oh. there's so much, right? There's like you so said, much. Yeah. I mean, even when you're saying so many mic checks, there's so yeah. many mm -hmm. mic checks that don't happen until you're live on the air, <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah, I had that case yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. So we had to do a quick mic change, right? Yeah. On the air, yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I got I got to bring it to my kids. So I yeah. I've been able to have both Elliot yeah. and Lucy <laughs> live on the show, which was a big risk mm -hmm. both times, but yeah. um, made it through without um, breaking anything. Yeah. So that's good. <laughs> that is one of the things I remember most. That morning, Heidi, me in the middle, you on the right, yeah. and you started playing this video of Lucy grabbing this. Yeah. This picture. Yes, a, a strip of pictures. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And uh, announcing that there's a baby in mommy's yes. tummy. And I know Heidi and I both looked at you, Hope, like, wow. <laughs> Anyway, it's just fun to see how your family grew, and yeah. we talked yep. about that. But I thought that was one of uh, just personally knowing you yeah. guys over the course of my two mm -hmm. and a half years, and yeah. just knowing how everything's changed. And Krista, yeah. I know you're new to the yep. thing, but <laughs> over your time, maybe even before you knew you were going to do North Dakota Today, what sticks out in your mind? Uh, well, I think. It has to be our, the Halloween show that we did, where we dressed up as <laughs> Beth and Rip for NDT, and it was it was I just so much. If fun anybody with that. got that we were dressed up? Yeah, that. I think they were just like they're wearing work clothes today. <laughs> <laughs> but I think that was like I remember you came to me and, yeah. and you were just like, "What do you think if yeah. we dress up like Beth and Rip?" And I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> it was just like what I remember is just always the energy that yeah. like you guys are up so early in the morning, <laughs> and yet I come into work and you. You guys were still just like ready to rock yeah. there was never a time where you guys were like oh I'm a little bit tired this morning I'm a little bit slow every day it yeah. was always so much energy from you three it, so much. that's Go the ahead. beauty of this show you get to think about how to have the most fun possible mm -hmm. and there's so much freedom to do try new things and do whatever you want so that's been so great. yeah that's one of the things too like what are some things you did on the show that you never thought you would do oh. well, like <laughs> me driving a zamboni I thought that was pretty cool that was, so that was maybe february or march or so yep. awesome yes anybody well, i think yeah. in, in almost any of these try my jobs that yeah. we've done the first one that I did was at Bruno's Pizza and throwing that dough in the air and it's in the air and it was all like slow motion. <laughs> Is it going to land on my head? Yeah. Am I going to be able to catch it? Yes. You know, and then you can edit it so that yeah. you, the viewer, don't see don't, exactly yes. the, the <laughs> tragedy that happened there. But for you, Hope, I'll never forget this when we had the actor, and you know the show better than I do, Yellowstone. <laughs> yeah. The look on your Speaking face when you, got yes. to, when you got to interview him because that's a show you really like. Oh, yes. 4 J. E. Smith, yeah. I, that, that's been a memory that's been top on my mind <laughs> lately. So cool to have the opportunity to meet him. And then other people you got to meet. Yes. Um, the announcer for Dick the Bramer, twins. Yes. The I, governors come on, the first governor, lady. Yes. Yeah, we yeah. had Tiger Lee part of the previous yes. segment and look where they're at right yeah. now. And it's awesome. And they still come and still say hi. And I, I think know. that's awesome. They're and so fun. Well, though, we yeah. just had an interview last week and I can't remember who which one of you talked Harry to. Harry Fader from America's yes. Got Talent. Oh, cool. That yeah. was cool. He's coming to my not. So. And also Clay uh Clay, Clay Walker, Walker yeah. coming mm -hmm. to Williston. Yeah. That was you know, so all of a sudden these big names pop up and we get to talk to them. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yes. I think so too. Now besides experiences and things, what about interviews that 
come into here and you get something out of them. Mm. Like we learn a lot from April. I like your quote where you said with um, Tana Trotter. Tana Trotter, she said, it's always okay to have some ice cream. Exactly. <laughs> of all the things Tana has that taught was, us, yeah. we get to have ice cream. Thank you, Tana. <laughs> right now, the so many of those things. Mm -hmm. And I did a segment called Homegrown with Hope before yes. I was hosting mm -hmm. here, but that was that was a great learning experience for me too to venture into parenting and learn about all the resources around the community but i right. and my experience now leaving kfyr yeah. is that oh we've got so many people here who are willing to help who are really experts mm -hmm. in their field and who are easy to connect with and so i'm grateful for this experience because it's been so educational mm -hmm. do you feel like you mm -hmm. learned a lot i feel every day i yeah. feel like depending on the guests it's like every day i'm learning something that I didn't know, or yeah. like a yeah. resource that I can share with a friend mm -hmm. or use myself. I, I just feel there's so much information that people can get from the show and, and have a good time with us as well. Right. I think too, off camera, when interviews come in, how are you, how was your vacation, yep. just yeah. getting to know them personally yeah. and then just growing because some of them come in here once a week every other week and just getting to know everyone. well and the range is yeah. so vast too you have judges that come yeah. in to talk yeah. about Maybe certain right. things yeah. and then we have uh, teenage musicians that come in I mean and then yeah. everything in between it, we, we cover so many topics here and it's so much fun and it is a very educational all the mm. time yeah. and we're ready to make some more memories That's right. so yeah. view some more ideas coming our way we're yeah. up for anything yeah. 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 I so. was just thinking about before before the pandemic, and how much the pandemic changed mm -hmm. the show too. Oh, but did it. Before that, there were there was so much commotion that would mm -hmm. come through the building and people and I remember this one time of it was in the winter and there was a, a dance team doing high kicks yeah. in the hallway <laughs> and there were people prepping food and all kinds of things it's just exciting to be part all of the, the community. Uh, and the pets that come in <laughs> yes. everything. Exactly. all right well we have more coming up on North Dakota today including cake yes. so we'll be right back <laughs>